What's going on everybody? Mike from Wall Street Traders. So I'm making this quick video to basically explain to you and how to, for you to use and understand the Weeble platform and app. Uh, so I'm doing this on a desktop. So if you do it on the app, it's very similar. So if you watch this, you should be able to do it on the app um, itself. Um, so this is the first uh, page that you're going to see when you actually download it and open it. Uh, this is going to be your main trade station page where you'll be doing most of your trades. So if we look here to the left where I have um, everything highlighted, this is where you'll be selecting everything to move around the app. So at the beginning, we will have our watch list. So it'll show the stocks that we're going to invest into or that we're just actually watching. Um, and right below that, we have our regular stock. Uh, that's an option where you can select that and it'll show you a different variety of stocks and their volumes and a bunch of other cool stuff like that. And then right below that, we have our our markets uh, and that'll show us overall stocks such as uh, um, ETN, ETFs, uh, Dow Jones, S&P 500s, stuff like that. Our screeners, uh, you won't really have to worry about that. It's just another option to look through a different variety of stocks that are available. Um, and then below that, you see that little hammer that's going to be your trade station with the, the major widgets that uh, you can move around and uh, use. So the top right hand corner you have our little chart right below that it'll show our positions that you're currently filled in if you were uh, if, to the left of that you have our little widget that'll allow you to uh, buy and sell which we'll get into later so now let's go to our account which will be those three dots below all of those and so i'm currently not logged in but this will allow you to see your portfolio of the full amount that you have in your account uh, it'll actually show you positions that you're in you're able to close them from here also and uh, just a bunch of cool little features that um, you'll be able to see when you uh, start an account and uh, add funds to it. It'll show your buying power also. And then right below that, your account, it'll show your paper trading account. So this looks just like your regular uh, account uh, for your trade station, but this is your trade station for your paper trading. And basically what it is, it's just fake money that uh, allows you to trade with so you can practice and not risk your, you know, actual portfolio. Uh, and this while I, I, I towards I lean towards people to use this first when they're first using the, the app. So that way uh, they can understand how to use everything and then they're more comfortable when they actually decide to start trading. OK, and then below all of that, uh, we will have the settings and that little headset, which would be feedback. Don't worry about that. But in the settings, you can change the theme color. I use uh, the dark because it's just easier for my eyes. Uh, but you can switch it to white and then below that it just gives you the options to change the color of the bars on the charts I use green and yellow it just looks cool. It looks better to me um, All right, let's go ahead and dive into the actual um, Sidebars and go in more depth on how to use them and what they do So at the watch list um, these will be the beginning ones that they'll give you to look at uh, you can remove them and add your own um, so you just click those little sidebars, highlight them and delete them. So you notice that after I click them, it'll show you on the right hand side, the amount that is currently going for, and then the after hour, which it's, you know, priced at after hours. So unfortunately you can't see my search bar. That's going to be on the top left corner and that'll give you easy access to pull up, um, any stock using its ticker symbol. Uh, we're going to look at Tesla just because everybody knows Tesla and loves Tesla. Uh, we're going to pull that up. Okay, and once that pulls up, you'll be able to see the overall chart. And um, what's cool about this brokerage is it allows you to use the range. So basically, this is what allows you to view uh, different time frames of each chart. So three month, one month, five day, and one day. So the three month will obviously show you the most amount of information that you'll need to trade. Um, and then above that, we have our intervals. So it'll have the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, etc. Um, and then on the right hand corner is, you know, still shows the amount of that is currently going for on the after hours. And then below that, it will have the news about this specific stock and uh, what's trending about it and what's basically everything that you need to know about uh, this stock. But um, <clears throat> on the sidebar of that itself, you'll actually see more widgets, which it'll show financials, press release, analysts. And quotes. So the quotes, you know, is going to show you the positions that you're in or orders that are waiting to be filled. Um, so let's go down to here. It'll show you key statistics like volume, which is very important to look at when you're looking at any stock. The quick chart below that, and then the actual trade station where you can uh, make purchases. As the options for limit, mark, stop, and then we have. Um, 
the quantity. So if we wanted to buy one share of this, you know, we'll select a buy, put in a quantity amount. So we'll buy one share. Uh, and then we'll put the limit. So this is the price that we want to uh, pay for each share. So if it's currently trending at 9.59 and I want to buy it there, we'll put 9.59 at 74 cents. And then below that, the take profit order and stop loss is a must. And this is what prevents you from losing and blowing up your account. Uh, so the take profit order is basically going to show and explain, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to show basically where you're going to get pulled out of if it hits that number. So if we have it at 959 and we want our target to be 960, right? So if it moved up and hit that number, it'll tag us out and it will tag our profits and we'll be out of the actual trade itself. Now, the stop price is just the, the opposite. Um, you know, you put in the stop price right below the amount. So if it's at 9.59, you would put the stop price of 9.58 or anything below that. So and then it'll show the estimated loss. So if it were to hit that number, it'll show you exactly how much you lost. So my limit price would be $1,000 and estimate profit of 40. And if I want to risk only 74 cents, I'll put it at 9.59 uh, flat. And then but below that will show you the amount, the buying power and max shares that you can buy. And then after that, you could just hit uh, buy and then it'll confirm your order. And the same thing uh, for the actual sell button itself on, on the top widget. Uh, but that's basically it for that, guys. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. So that being said, uh, the top widget part for the sell option is basically the same as the buy. You can put in the quantity that you want to sell and the limit price that you want to sell it at. And then below that, you know, you just have more information about the specific stock that you're looking at or interested in buying. Make sure to always do your due diligence, look at the volume, make sure they don't have a earnings report coming up, which this will show you on here uh, on these side widgets. And um, just because there's a lot of volatility when, when selling, when ER report comes out. Okay, so if we go back down to the very bottom and we go to the account, uh, we go to paper trading, right? This is just exactly how your trade station for your regular account, but paper trading is just fake money that they allow you to trade with so you can practice. It has all the same features and widgets, the chart, your position size, and uh, your actual trade station where you can buy and sell. So if you're a beginner trader, I suggest using this and get comfortable with it before actually starting to trade, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll have a link below for the brokerage. Peace out.